but we also want Einstein to be integrated into the platform so you can use it on your own data. Not only the Salesforce data, not only your email, not only the social data, but you can connect to your own data. And what's really hard with AI is not so much the technology itself, is integrating that technology into an app, being able to connect to the right data set, being able to test the right, uh, the right predictive engines, and be able to integrate it into a meaningful user experience. That's what we're doing with Einstein. And please give a warm welcome to Leah McGowan here, who's going to put Einstein at work. Leah, it's yours. I got one. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I am thrilled to be here to tell you about how you can build smarter apps using Einstein platform services. See, Einstein puts AI in your CRM in your sales, in your service, in your commerce, and your marketing. By empowering every developer, all you developers, to build smarter apps that people are going to love. Now, how does this work? Here's the thing. You don't have to be a data scientist to use the power of AI in your apps. See, these are algorithms that are pre-trained with CRM data and we make these available as web services via REST APIs. Now, you're going to see some of this. Let's start with language. So you can classify plain speak, right? Plain phrases to understand what your customers are trying to do by using the Einstein Intent API. You can also take plain phrases and classify whether they're positive, negative, or neutral using the Einstein Sentiment API. Now, we're going to show you this, and it's going to be really powerful. We have also, beyond just text, we have images. You have the ability to do image classification and object detection. So with Einstein image classification, you can look at a picture and say, um, shoes, right? And with Einstein object detection, it can look at a photo and say all of the objects within the image. So an example would be it would look at an image and say, I don't know, five pairs of shoes, two pants, and a shirt. Clearly, I have a thing for shoes. Don't judge, right? And then there's Einstein analytics. You can, you know, have, discover themes and facts about your data and with Einstein discovery, and then use that data in your Apex code or in your web apps with the Einstein Analytics SDK. This is a lot of powerful stuff, so I really want you to really absorb this. But the best way to do this, I'm going to show it to you. Let's jump straight into the demo with our amazing demo team. Give it up for our All demo right. team. Hi, everyone. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into the demo. The first thing I want to start with is the Einstein Sentiment API. Now, this API helps you understand how people feel, right? You can take plain text, plain speak, right, and identify if it's positive, negative, or neutral. Now, Kara, put, give me a, a simple phrase. Uh, how about the fact that this event is awesome? That event is, or this event is awesome, I concur. Let's see. So look, this has come back, high probability that it's positive. All we did was feed the API a text that said this event is awesome. Kara, let's try something different. OK, well, um, I've been here all morning, and my coffee is getting cold. Let's try that. All right, let's try that. Let's see what comes back. Now, this is split. And, and let, let's be real. That could be real, right? If I'm drinking cold brew coffee, that's probably a positive thing. But if I'm looking for a hot cup of joe, that's probably not a positive right. thing, right? So with the intent, um, excuse me, the sentiment, Einstein Sentiment API uses a pre-trained model to make its predictions. So this is really, really powerful. Now, let's talk about the intent API. See, with the Einstein Intent API, you train the model with your custom phrases and your custom labels. So the first thing that you need to start with is your training data. So here we have some sample training data, and we've got tons of phrases 
right? And some labels. We have like well over 400 phrases tied to three different labels. Now, you customize this, and the key is you want to have a robust, solid training data. The better your data, the better your predictions. Now, once you have your data, you're going to upload it and put it in a location where, your, where Einstein intent can locate it, and then we're going to create a data set. Once you create the data set, you can then train your model associated to that data set. So once you train the model, now training the model is an asynchronous process, so it takes a little bit. So we're going to work with a model that we've already trained. And we're going to make some predictions against that model. So in this case, remember, we're trying to find intent. So Kara, give me, give me, a, give me a phrase. Um, well, I was just downstairs at the outpost, and I really want a pair of those gloves. Okay, I'd, li I'd like some gloves. So when you feed the API that simple phrase of, I'd like some gloves, it returns back a high probability of sales. So think of the possibilities of how you could use this in an app, right? You could route this to an inside sales rep, right? G give me a different phrase. Try something else, something that might need to be fixed. Um, how about if my headlamp's broken? Oh, my headlamp's broken, sad emoji, right? They even take in sad emojis, right? So I'm going to send this into the API, and it comes back as a high probability of service. So what could I do with this? I could route this into my case. I could route a case automatically. So here I am being, you know, proactive about what my customers might, might need based off of basic English here. That's really powerful. But like I said, it's not just text. This also extends to images. So the same pattern that we're using for Einstein intent, we can use for Einstein vision. So once again, you're going to train this model, but the first thing we need is to have our sample data. So we have a variety of images here. This is our sample data and all of our different labels. And you're going to upload that data and put it in a location that Einstein vision can access it. Once we do that, we're going to get, once again, just as we did with intent, we're going to go ahead and create the data set. Now, once you create the data set, you get that model ID, you can train the model, right? Now, here's the thing, just like with intent, the mo the, the, it's an asynchronous process, so it can take a little while. So we're going to use a model that was already created, and we're going to make some predictions against it. So let's go out and grab an image. Oh, ice pick. Whichever image. OK, a carabiner. It's a carabiner. We're going to go in, and we're going to go in and see. And it's going to come back 99% a carabiner, right? So you can use these image add any kind of image recognition to your apps. This is really powerful. We have an amazing customer story with Crossmark. They're using Einstein vision to analyze over 20,000 images a day. Kara, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so you know when you walk into Sam's Club or Costco and they hand you that food sample or they give you that product demonstration? Yeah, I love so, that food. <laughs> most likely that's a Crossmark rep, and at the end of their shift, they have to upload images so that the client knows that they've represented the brand the right way. And these Crossmark reps are all over the world uploading thousands of images a day, and there's actually people that sift through all of them to make sure the client's getting what they need and that Crossmark's getting paid. So what they did to improve this process is they actually built an app on Salesforce so that their reps can come in at the end of their shift and they can just simply upload all of their images. <laughs> and then uh, Einstein Vision is going through analyzing them and identifying any anomalies. So as you can see, I've uploaded an image of uh, I've uploaded an image on accident of my boss. <laughs> <laughs> and so thanks to Einstein Vision, I now have a complete report to submit. That is pretty amazing. And that is how you build smart apps using Einstein platform services. Yeah. <laughs>